It's 1.3 of straight up. Footsteps are gone by the time she gets there. Down here at 19 Mile Brook. Uh, it's almost 7 o'clock, waiting for a friend to show up, and it's raining out. <laughs> and it rained all night. Um, it's starting to die off now. It was pouring on my way up uh, through the notch. So I'm hoping the rain's going to go away. Today, the plan is well, the plan was to go. Uh, we're at 19 Mile Brook Trailhead, and we're going to cut, walk up to Camp Dodge cut through their uh, parking lot and tote road over to the imp trail take the imp trail up to the Carters and then come back down 19 mile brook um, the we're gonna go to the right side which I think is the imp south maybe trailhead um, that trail so as far as I know there's no rivers on that trail 19 mile and then up to uh, the Carter Mariah, I think that's the Carter Mariah Trail or something you hit, and then Zeta Pass. Um, there's a few rivers on that trail, so I'm thinking maybe we should go up that start and head up 19 Mile. So if we hit any un unpassable rivers, we can turn around, not be you know seven eight miles into the hike, and have to turn around and go do the whole range again and come back down Imp or back down Carter Dome and then to the hut and over because I believe all the tra all the rivers to the hut have bridges. Um, might not be great bridges, but they have bridges. So, not sure. I'll figure out when Dolores gets here, which way we're going, and go from there. So, maybe see you on the trail. So here we are. So heading, we decided to head up a 19 mile brook. Um, we actually, well, we ran into some people that Dolores knew, so she's up there hiking with, with a friend. Um, and the lady's husband is probably still in the parking lot, she said talking, but I guess he does like triple prezzy, so uh, he'll be all set to catch up. Um, so the plan is we're gonna hit Carter Dome. It looks like it's clearing, obviously, um, and we've gotten very warm. And if it's clear, we're going to hit Mount Height, I think. At least I'm going to talk her into it. I, she, I think she wanted to go around it, but I want to go over it. So, um, so we're going to hit, go up to Carter Dome, Mount Height, hopefully, and then hit the Carters, and then come down Imp because there's no river crossings on Imp. But ri rivers seem high. This is, uh, but we'll hit them all on the way up. So, shouldn't be an issue coming down. So, anyways, let's. I'm going to get caught up. Uh, probably not going to take any waterfall pitches today or anything like that. I forgot my tripod. And my mic died when I got to the parking lot. And I nobody had a double-A battery. I was walking around begging people, hey, anybody got a double-A battery? Double-A battery? So I'm going to do the best I can with the audio today. And here we go. And here's one of the reasons I decided to go up 19 Mile Brook. Some nice... All the trails that go up to the hut have somewhat bridges. This is one of the better ones. So I don't have to deal with the river crossings until we turn off. So I forgot to mention, um, after we get done 
for this trip. I'm going to get in my car and head back to the Zeeland uh, Road parking area, load up the Polk, and head down to the Sugarloaf 2 camping area. Hope he's going to Sugarloaf 2. Um, he said Sugarloaf, there's two of them down there. As you, as you guys probably saw from my last uh, couple videos ago, I did the Sugarloaf Mountains and stayed at the Sugarloaf 2 camping area. So I'm going to meet my buddy Rick down there, who is a YouTuber also. And then the uh, plan is to camp out. Um, I think he's a tenter, if I recall. Geez, I watch his videos and I'm not even sure. Um, yeah, I know he was in a tent the last time. So he's a tenter and I'm a hammocker. Um, and then we're going to pack up and do hail in the morning after we camp out at one of the Zealand campgrounds. Um, so it should be a great uh great thing because we'll have perspective our both of our perspectives of the the hike so I'm, I'm really excited about that one we've been trying to get together for a while and this is the first time we've had a chance I have limited time in the morning so I gotta kind of hoof it but we'll see how it goes I didn't know who it was. You're lucky I, I just talked to anybody. straight up so just took a water run to the hut grab some water for Dolores she's already headed up on her snowshoes so we're gonna head up to Carter Dome uh, which is 1.2 wish she wouldn't read the sign today because I thought it was less than a mile so and it's 1.2 straight up so here we go up 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 and away Use the days today. So here we are at the view with no view on the way up to Carter Dome. Wonderful. Hot straight behind me. 
not that you can see it. The viewpoint, all the way up to Carter Dome. We have an interesting rock right there. I'm just gonna try to spin on my snowshoes without falling off the cliff. The hut right down there, hard to see. So, here we are at the fake summit of Carter Dome. I've come up here more than once and people are doing handstands and having pictures taken in this spot. And this is not the summit. The summit's down that way. Came from that way. I head that way. And in the summertime, you can see the posts and stuff from the and cement from the fire tower that used to be up here. At least I think there used to be a fire tower. Something was here, hotel or something. But anyways, let's go over the real so summit. Here we are. It's only probably 20 yards from the fake summit, we'll call it. And there's a sign for the Rainbow Trail. Um, that's the trail I plan on coming up to do this peak. This is the only peak I have left on my four season list. Uh, I think it's summer, fall, not sure which one it was. I had done the Carters, everything over in this ridge except for um, Carter Dome. I don't know how it happened. I think uh, we, me and my son came up here that one season and camped and we didn't, we skipped Carter Dome. But anyways, so there's a, if I remember correctly, there's a thing right behind me, like a cement piece of something there and it had the summit marker on it so when you see the sign pretty much at the summit right in here used to be something all in here I'm not sure what so point but back there there's a there's actually an outlook but you're not gonna see anything we're not gonna see anything today so I'm not even gonna bother to go over there. So anyways we're gonna head back continue down that trail over to I think we hit South Carter next. I'm, I'm getting my north and south mixed up today. So anyways, onward. Well, working our way up. Came over Carter Dome uh, through Zeta Pass, Zeta Pass, skipped height because it wasn't broken out and there's no views anyways. And now we're working our way up South Carter. Just got a in-reach message from my buddy I was supposed to be camping with. He hurt his ankle hiking where he was hiking, so he's canceling. Uh, so not going to the hand uh, excuse me, not gonna head over to uh, Sugarloaf now and do hail. Might head fourth iron and do um, one back. That's an easy one. One that all my friends have already done in winter time. So I might head over and do that in the morning. So who knows? Maybe I'll sleep in my car. Maybe I'll find a hotel. I don't know. But it's pretty windy out right now. So I figured I'd shoot a little uh, talking video right now and get some views. Can we call it views? Trees and, and clouds. Get some trees and clouds at the top. So I'm just about the top. Get there in a second. Ah. So I think the summit is in here somewhere. If I remember right. Here we are, um, about to head up to Middle Carter Summit. Um, the wind is really strong and uh, behind a hill here, so I figured once again make a video before I get up there for the wonderful views. It's so windy that um, Dolores is probably 20 ish yards behind me, and by the time she gets, gets, uh, she my, yeah, I can't speak. She's about 20 yards behind me, and my footsteps are gone by the time she gets there. 